Fourth watch, where holy, holy, holy God gathers with his holy people, the people he has made holy. Hallelujah. Oh, he's holy, holy. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. Holy. Your name, hallelujah, Jesus Christ. Call on his name, call on his name this morning. As we come into his presence, call on his name. For we know a name that is holy. We are not we know a name that is full of mercy. We know a name that is full of grace. We know a name that is full of redemption, of forgiveness, of salvation. It's the name of our Father. It is the name of our Lord, our God, our Savior, and our King, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We will worship Him and bow down before Him. We know a name. We know a God. We know a Lord. We know a Savior. We know a King. And so this morning, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we say hallelujah. 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 You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. You are worthy of our praise, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Sante Kushe Kundaya Papa. Roko Satelebe Kesete. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are gathered in a place. We are gathered in a place where our Savior. Oh, hallelujah. Where our Savior is. We are gathered at His feet. Hallelujah. We are like Mary this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we are like Mary. We are doing the right thing, the good thing. Gathering at His feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Great and faithful is our God. Hallelujah. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God. Good morning and welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day, Holy Spirit. Welcome into this time and into this season of our lives. Welcome unto this altar. Welcome into the lives and the homes and the places and the space of every member of the Fourth Watch family. Those that are on now and those that will come on later. Those on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. We thank you Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth for your presence. Rich and powerful, awesome and mighty. On this Deliverance Thursday, we thank you Lord God Almighty that you will not spare anything. You will not hold back anything from us. Everything that we need for life and godliness will begin to manifest even this morning in the name of Jesus Christ Lord that you will deliver us from every evil way and every evil thing that you will set us apart oh God Almighty from the ways of the enemy oh Father those of us who have been set aside and who have been walking in poverty lack and insufficiency that this morning you will lift us out of that miry clay you will lift us out of Lodi bar and make us a star oh God Almighty those of us who have been held back 
Oh, Father, delayed, derailed, or denied this day, this day, on this deliverance Thursday. Lord, I thank you that you will visit us in this season and deliver us from every evil thing. You will deliver us from every delay, even if we ourselves, through fear and doubt and unbelief, through, through low self-esteem, low self-love, no self-hate, uh, God has blocked ourselves from going into the fullness of who you have called us to be. This morning, we shed it, we shed it, we shed it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah hallelujah come on guys I want you to be begin to prophesy over your own life this morning even if you have started to prophesy already from your wake up I'm asking you to prophesy in this atmosphere over your life over your children begin to prophesy I am the best thing that God has created for this time begin to prophesy come on get in the in the in come on we're, we're working to become mature Christians that control our environment we control our atmosphere begin to prophesy concerning your life come on begin to prophesy hallelujah I am out of debt. I am financially free. I am financially able. I am lucrative financially to do great and mighty things for the kingdom of God. I can sow into the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I can bless uh, people and, 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 and organizations that are doing things for the poor. I can sow into, into the lives of people that are poor and destitute, into orphans and widows. I can set up uh, uh, halfway homes and safe homes, hallelujah, for, for children and for people. Uh, come on, prophesy over your life. Prophesy. I can fund ministries. I can start missions and send people on missions to various nations because I am financially full. I am overflowing. Come on, I am healthy. I I am full of love and full of health and strength, prosperity and good success. My heart, my heart, my human heart is healed and is say it's, it's, it's firm it's good my left and right ventricles are good all my arteries are good and they are flowing blood properly my blood pressure my my veins my 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 muscles my arteries are free and clear and clean in the name of jesus christ of nazareth my blood pressure is normal my blood sugar is normal in the name of jesus my blood circulation is normal in the name of jesus my mind i have the mind of christ i am brilliant in all my ways i have the wisdom of god and the understanding standing of the kingdom of God. I am full of love and overflowing. I have the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. I walk in the fruit of the spirit and the gifts of the spirit manifest through me every day in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, people of God, prophesy. Prophesy with starting the day with the devil knowing that we are in charge, that we are more than conquerors through him who love us, that we know our God and we will be strong and do exploits that we look to our God and our faces are radiant that it shines like a light and our light will shine that men will see it and glorify our God come on somebody you got to say what is in your heart you got to declare it you got to own it you got to be it you got to do it you got to say it but you first must prophesy it because it is what we prophesy that come to pass it is what the Lord says what we say we shall have ah we shall decree a thing and it shall be established so come on family come on begin to prophesy come on we have always been happy when someone prays for us when someone prophesies to us we have gathered on mass on block and we have run to prophets and we have sat there and when they don't prophesy to us we feel disappointed but God sometimes miss us out or leave us out or don't allow the prophet to prophesy to us because he says you first must depend on my spirit you first must learn how to work with my spirit to work with me and to prophesy over your own life and so this morning, come on, Quenda, come on, Quenda, come on, Yuri, come on, Melody, prophesy, come on, prophesy, guys, come on, get serious, get serious, prophesy, Arlene, come on, speak over your life, speak over your children, speak over your own self, there are many things that you've been wanting for the longest while, and God has just been waiting for you to come in agreement, and so this morning, we are getting delivered from that which has held us back from the fullness of who we are and what we're supposed to have, where we're supposed to go, come on, whatever it is you want, I don't care how trivial, you want to change your car prophesy i thank you lord that in two weeks time in two months time in two days time i shall have a new car come on hallelujah 
I shall be debt free, Lord. I owe millions of dollars, but I thank you, Lord God Almighty, that nothing is impossible for you. You supplied the needs of the Philippians according to your riches in glory, and therefore your riches in glory belongs to me because it could not have been exhausted by the Philippians. And so I claim that which is rightfully mine as an inheritance, as a son. And therefore, God, I prophesy that my debts are paid off in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, Lord, for miracle money in my account. I thank you, Lord, for a business that will come forth that's a great idea from you god i've always wanted a business and so i thank you come on and tell I'm, I'm i'm trying to help each of us oh god almighty hallelujah by the spirit of god to come into a new level come into a new level come on prophesy come on guys prophesy there are things that you've been putting before god and you've been asking him daily come on i, I lord i want this i want this and god is saying i am god in you and therefore my word cannot return unto me void and so if you speak from my spirit then it is my word and if it is my word it will accomplish it will be established it will come to pass and so i'm asking you to learn how to prophesy come on get serious prophesy the things of god over your life prophesy that you shall fulfill the purpose for which you were born in this world you shall not die with anything inside of you nobody shall come back to life when they touch your dry bones if you die before jesus comes yea god almighty you shall leave everything in the earth you shall impart you shall be taken up like elijah but you shall leave your mantle on the earth like up to elijah ah in the name of jesus christ of nazareth you shall become the fullness of Deborah. Even Samson, who died, I believe, prematurely, but in his death he still accomplished purpose. The Bible says that Samson killed more, more Philistines in his death than in his entire life, and he did some damage in his life. And so we want to die empty if we are to die before the Lord Jesus Christ comes. And so that's how we got to prophesy. We got to say, Lord, prophesy even that, Lord, I if I am to die before you come, Lord. I will not die with anything that I was supposed to give still in me. I will give everything out of me. I will bless. I will be a blessing. I will go forth and start foundations. I will help the poor. I will help the needy. I will help the sick. I will help the deaf, the dumb, the blind, the sick. I will help even the dead in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, people of God. Begin to prophesy from the heart of God, from the heart of God, which is in your spirit. Come on, prophesy some things that you need to see change prophesy over your nation I prophesy that Jamaica shall flourish shall, Jamaica shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord Jamaica shall not be taken over by principalities and powers by foreigners or by locals inside that have not the interest of God in, as their will and purpose I prophesy that Jamaica shall not be a nation known for crime and violence for corruption or for, 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 for um all manner of evil concupiscence jamaica shall not be known as a nation whose god is the devil but jamaica shall be known as a nation whose god is the lord jesus christ our eternal father shall bless our land yeah. he shall guard us with his mighty hand he shall keep us free from evil powers and be our light through countless hours he shall be a blessing to our our leaders ah uh, because he's our great defender he shall grant true wisdom to every jamaican hallelujah from above Just Justice and truth shall be ours forever in this Jamaica land that we love and that God loves. I prophesy that Jamaica is a mighty nation, a nation under God who shall increase in beauty, fellowship and prosperity and play her part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. I declare that Jamaica shall not only be known for beaches uh, or for athletes, but Jamaica shall be known for Christian principles, uh, for a nation that you can come to and experience revival in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, people of God, prophesy. Prophesy over your own nation. Amen. Prophesy over your own community. Prophesy over your own family. Come on, prophesy. My family shall know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. As for me and my house, and that means my extended family on my mother's side and on my father's side shall come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We shall flourish like like the palm tree planted in the courtyard of the Lord. We shall stand strong like the cedar of Lebanon. Impressive that men may know our bloodline and say that bloodline is a bloodline that should be imitated. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. 
I prophesy that we shall not die poor, but we shall leave an inheritance for our children and our children's children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy that we shall lack no good thing for all good things for life and godliness has already been left up to us by, by the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, people of God, prophesy. Mm. Don't be bashful. Don't be afraid. I prophesy, Loretta Neal, that you are healthy, that you are strong, that your best days are not behind you, but before you in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that your family members that have been talking behind your back saying you, 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 you're dead about your serve God and nothing has gone for you. You're suffering, you're struggling, you're hot, you can't make it. I prophesy that they shall bow at your feet and repent. They shall repent and be and you shall be restored in their eyes. They shall know that you have chosen the better way. They have chosen to be like Martha but you have chosen to be like Mary and you shall flourish. You shall prosper. You shall increase in the name of Jesus Christ for my word says God has gone forth and I have said that your latter years shall be greater than your former and therefore I cannot lie and so your latter years Loretta Neal shall be greater than your former your latter years Monique shall be greater than your former Yuri your latter years Quenda your latter years shall be greater than your former Marsha your latter years shall be greater than your former in the name of Jesus and so shall it be for your children in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that your latter years shall Shall not be years to come but years to, from now in the name of Jesus Christ your latter years shall start now Curtis Baptiste I declare that your latter years shall begin now and you shall take over Tobago you shall begin to be known not just in Tobago but across I declare that the goodness of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow is your portion this morning as you enter into this space and this place and this time and this season of the Holy One of Israel I prophesy that whatever it is that is desire of your heart you shall have it in this year this year 2021 God shall do dumbfounding and confounding miracles in your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare your health issues are clear up hallelujah the health issues that are plaguing your family your bloodline are cleared up in the name of Jesus I prophesy that Mark Butler hallelujah shall be redeemed according to the will and purpose of the Lord Jesus Christ I prophesy that the life of a of Keith Tucker shall be well in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy Keith Tucker healthy and strong in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that those who are stricken with cancer shall be redeemed and restored in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that Kerry and Everton's relationship shall be renewed and restored in the name of Jesus. Every separating spirit, every spirit of Jericho wall that wants to come, every Every spirit of Jezebel, hey God Almighty, every spirit of Samson that wants to come between and choose a Delilah over, over, over over the family I declare this morning that every separating spirit must go in the name of Jesus Christ and Kerian and Everton will be renewed and restored and will live in love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I come I come this morning O God Almighty in your name and I prophesy that Elaine Johnson shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord Jesus Christ every spirit of death that have been sent against Elaine Johnson I cancel it I declare her address invisible to them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, they shall go back empty handed. They shall not get Elaine Johnson or a Johnson or any other member of this Fort Watch family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare death angels must pass you by. I declare death angels must pass you by now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare that every sickness spirit, every spirit of infirmity, every spirit that wants to delay, derail, or deny you from the fullness of purpose whether through sickness or through misdirection I declare them cancelled and destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare that we are blessed and highly favored we walk in the fullness of God's glory in the mighty name of Jesus I prophesy that Omar Williams is a mighty man of valor a man of God a man of joy a man of peace a man of love a man of purpose I declare that Omar Williams shall flourish and shall prosper and shall go 
go forth and do great and mighty things. I declare health and strength, prosperity and good success over Omar Williams in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that Mark Williams is a mighty man of valor. God, that you have chosen him for such a time as this. And therefore, Mark shall not fail. He shall not die. He shall not be derailed. He shall not be denied. I declare that every foul, unclean spirit that desires to step in and to destroy that which you have put together for your word says what God has joined together let no man put asunder and so God I intervene on behalf of Mark this morning and I declare that he shall not be denied your word from coming up coming to pass in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth so I pray oh God Almighty that you will bring restoration to that marriage in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will bring peace to that marriage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we thank you Lord God Almighty hallelujah that Mark Butler is restored we thank you that Sharon Brown oh God Almighty ah, as she as she she intervenes and intercedes oh God Almighty on behalf of her son Peter oh God Almighty I thank you that Peter Jahan Gordon is restored and renewed on this deliverance morning oh God Almighty we call forth the spirit of deliverance to set hallelujah Peter Jahan Gordon free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah. set him free oh God God, set him free hallelujah keep his soul oh god almighty and deliver him keep his soul and deliver him oh god father deliver deliver this morning deliver each and every one of us this morning we cry out to you oh god almighty and we said keep our soul and deliver us keep our souls and deliver us from every plan every scheme and every trap of the enemy oh god be pleased oh lord to deliver us be pleased oh lord to deliver us from everything that the enemy has sent our way father without you we are nothing without Without you, we cannot go through the day. Without you, we cannot work. We cannot live. We cannot move. We cannot have our being without you we are nothing and so lord be pleased be pleased oh god this morning to deliver us from every evil thing and every evil way in the name of jesus christ make haste oh god to deliver us as david said in psalm 70 let not our enemies say aha 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 but make haste to deliver us make haste to heal us make haste to restore our lives make haste oh god to to, to deliver us from every evil thing and every evil way make haste to bless us make haste to cause us to walk in the Kairos moment. Make haste, O oh God, to pour your spirit upon us that we will walk in Kairos moments, in, 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 in favor, in anointing and power in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we desire to walk, to live, to move, to have our being in the supernatural. And so God cause us to have a supernatural experience and encounter every minute of every day. Even while we sleep, O oh God Almighty, let the supernatural be our portion, O oh God. Deliver us in your right righteousness for our righteousness is as filthy rags but deliver us O god from every unrighteousness this morning deliver us O god out of the hand of the enemy in the name of jesus christ i prophesy this morning that every member of this family that is on now and that will come on later that if the hand of the enemy is upon your life i command that hand to loose you now in the name of jesus anything that the enemy is holding on to for you or in you right now right now if you will be believe Come on, I want you to think right now, people of God, my family, my family, my family, our family who we love dearly. I'm asking you by faith right now to think about what it is that the enemy is using to hold on to you. Think about what it is that you are concerned about, that you know the Holy Spirit has been ministering to you, that this is not right. You need to release it. You need to let it go. I want you to think of that right now because God is about to deliver you right now. If it is one thing, two things or three on this deliverance. Thursday when the Lord Jesus Christ by the Holy Ghost is here he wants to deliver you right now to set you free that you might live free to be who God has called you to be and so as the word says deliver me oh God out of the hand of the enemy God is what God wants to deliver you right now according to Psalm 71 verse 4 God wants to deliver you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm asking you right now, whatever it is, if it is your children, if, it, if it's something that is going on with your son or your daughter, come on, you got to say, Lord, deliver me, deliver me, oh God, out of the hand of the enemy, for the enemy's hand is upon my son or on my daughter or on my children or on my business or on my life or on my marriage or on my life that I can't get married or on my marriage that I can't, that it don't seem to be working, whatever it is, come 
come on you got to know what you want god to deliver you from but he is delivering you right now this morning if you have the faith to believe if you will believe because it is by the measure of your faith not mine that you will be delivered i will be delivered by the measure of mine but you will be delivered by the measure of yours and then when mine and yours combine boom satan's work is not only delivered today but delivered ah permanently in the name of jesus christ and so come on i want you to just think this morning hallelujah and what you want god to deliver you from and then repeat these words deliver me deliver me oh god oh god out of the hand out of the hand of the enemy of the enemy and then just declare whatever it is that is happening in your life oh, yeah. that you want deliverance from Deliver us, O God, from the hand of the enemy, blocking pot or tails from going across the entire world. Deliver us, O Lord God Almighty, from the blocking of the enemy, from, from, from our house coming into fruition. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah for a car, for my wife coming into fruition. Deliver us, O God Almighty, from every blockading spirit that wants to block our ministry from going forward. In the name of Jesus Christ, deliver us, O God Almighty, from the blockading spirits of the enemy that wants to block us some financial freedom that we might be a blessing to others around. In the name of Jesus deliver us oh God from blockading spirits that wants to block our thoughts to tell us that we are not good enough that we are just backbenchers that we will never be up front and we will never move in might and power deliver us oh God from every evil thought and every evil way deliver us oh God from the spirit that is blocking us from loving unconditionally in agape love deliver us oh Lord God Almighty from the fear of men in the Monday come on you got to tell God what you want him to deliver you from come on people of god get serious get serious tell him in a serious way because deliverance is about to take place right now as you're telling him he's delivering you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth in the mighty name of jesus christ come on you're getting delivered now delivered now delivered now as you say it by faith you're being delivered delivered from sickness and disease delivered from fear from doubt from unbelief you're being delivered right now in the name of jesus christ deliver us oh god almighty oh God Almighty, deliver our bones from sickness, deliver our bloodline from curses. We come against every curse in our bloodline right now. We come against the curse of failed marriages. We come against the curse of poverty, lack, and insufficiency. We come against the curse of broken lives and broken covenants and broken promises in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against the curse of children that don't make it in the name of Jesus, the curse of worthlessness, gluttony, slothful we come against those curses in the name of Jesus Christ we come against oh God and cramp and paralyze the curse of word curses in the name of Jesus we come against every curse of sexual immorality every marine spirit that has been released to our, our dreams or as human spirits oh God Almighty to come and to contaminate the temple of the Lord. We cancel their assignment and we command deliverance to take place now. Anyone who demons have touched in your dream, have come to make love to in your dream, have come to kiss or to just, barely, just merely touch, I command that foul, unclean spirit to go from your life now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere that enemy has touched you, anything he has injected into your body, a demonic vaccine that has gone into your bloodstream and, has, and is produced fear or doubt or unbelief I command that to go from your body right now in the name of Jesus go from your soul right now I command a cleansing of your soul by the Spirit of the Living God holy angels of the Most High God visit every fourth watch family member right now and anything that the enemy is using to block them I command it to be uprooted by your hands in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Holy Ghost move upon God's people move upon God's people this morning move upon the people of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth and deliver them from everything that held, holds them back in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything, everything, deliver from schizophrenia, deliver from fibroids, deliver from endometriosis, deliver, hallelujah, from every kind of cancer in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliver from low self-esteem, deliver, oh God Almighty, from self-hate and from unforgiveness ah hallelujah come on hallelujah come on whatever it is that you've been holding on to sometimes we we need deliverance from gossip hallelujah from 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 ignorance hallelujah for sometimes we're in sin hallelujah we don't know that we're in sin because the enemy has blocked our eyes and caused us to think that what we're doing is right hallelujah but it is not right in the sight of god ask the lord to deliver you from anything that shout covers your eyes and stop you from seeing 
seeing sin in any way, shape, or form in your life so that you can repent and turn. Ask the, ask the Lord to move it in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, where there is any scale over my own eyes that I don't see a sin in my life, I don't see something in my heart or in my own thoughts that is not of you. God, cause my scale, the scales to come off that I will see it and repent and say, Lord, forgive me. Hallelujah. That I will no longer say, Lord, forgive me of unknown sins, but I will know every sin that is in my life and I will be able to speak to it, command it to go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, ask God for the righteousness, holiness and truth of his life to be manifested in and through our lives each and every moment of every day that we might flourish, hallelujah, and not perish in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So deliver us, O God, from the hand of the enemy that no weapon formed against us will prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment is condemned now and always in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Amen. Great and faithful is the Holy One of Israel. Great is our God. Hallelujah. The enemy will not say, Aha, where is your God? Hallelujah. But we will say, Aha, here is our God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. I know that you have been delivered this morning because I have been, hallelujah, feel the heat of the presence of God in my body, I, in my soul and in my spirit. I know that the Lord has touched all across, hallelujah, he has touched from Australia to England, he has touched from the US to the Caribbean, God has touched all over this morning and change has come, transformation has come as you have prophesied. I know angels have already dispatched and have gone not, from, not to come to you, they were already there when we started praying and they have been dispatched to take your petitions to heaven and no weapon form against your, your petition shall prosper remember the Lord said to Daniel hallelujah through the angel the moment you prayed come on somebody you got to know what the word says mm -hmm. the moment you prayed that means the angel that was taking back Daniel's answer was hallelujah. already beside Daniel walking with him uh, in the first place and so when Daniel prayed the angel oh I feel the Lord confirm Confirming, oh God, I wish you could see my body right now, guys. I feel the spirit of the living God confirming that I am the one that is speaking, not Ruan Wade. Oh, Karaba Shoto Korobo Sekendera. If you can believe it, God, as angels assigned to you, walking around you, doing things for you, and when we pray according to His will, the angels and shoot up like Jacob saw the angels ascending and descending they were taking oh, yeah. blessings and favor they were taking instructions and information they were taking oh, hallelujah all kinds of things for life and godliness to Jacob and to his people and so this morning I'm telling you right in your place and space where you are whether you're at home or at work or wherever you are hey, there's a portal open over you now I prophesy it in the name of Jesus and angels are ascending and descending and the things that you were prophesying this morning the things that you were asking God to release you from hallelujah from the hand of the enemy the angels have taken it and where the demons needed to be bound they were bound in the canto name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth they were bound and pulled out of your life deliverance has come to your life and to your house this morning you're about to see open door blessing you're about to see the blessings that Abraham saw when he separated from Lot because Lot though he was not a bad person was a ball and chain oh Korobo Sandara Baha'i there's some of us this morning that God is saying there are some people in your life that are not bad people but they are ball and chain and so this morning God is cutting you loose from the balls and chains that are holding you back in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There are some jobs that are like ball and chain and God is cutting you loose from them and deliverance is coming this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Deliverance has come. There are some people that you call best friend and good friend and all these things and all they do is speak negatively and every time that you hear them speak or every time you're around them you're saying to yourself God and you make excuses that why Lord I, I, I'm trying to get them saved. I'm trying to 
talented is a talented that and that's noble and that's well but some of them are lots and so you got to pray the right prayer we must love every single person but come on we must pray the right prayer god if there is a lot if there's a sambalat and tobias around me god uh, my god if there is a spirit of aaron that will not come and worship with me but will build a golden calf in my life god cut them off in the name of jesus as you separated abraham from lot so that he could prosper now remember because God loved Lot, Lot as well. Look at what he did later in the scripture concerning Lot. He cared for Lot, but Lot just was not to be the ball and chain around Abraham. He should not stop Abraham from becoming who God wants him to become. And so I don't want to start to pray as if you're cursing the person who you have identified or who God has shown you as the ball and chain in your life, as the Lot in your life. Remember, God didn't hate Lot. God preserved him and saved him from Sodom and Gomorrah so he is special to God him just not fit for you to go the journey with you hear me carefully people of God because we got to mature in this thing we got to grow in this thing we got to understand that even someone who is doing evil to us is not God's enemy come on glory to God God's enemy is Lucifer and his principalities and powers they are the one that works through people to make people our enemy but it is the spirits that is our enemy not the people because if the people get deliver they become as sweet as you and i i used to be the enemy oh god of so many hallelujah i used to be the enemy of people people used to say Shuafi, him khaki, all people who never know me marsha and our family used to see me on tv hallelujah bless god and say what's the ball it man they can't go on he like him or something like him or, mm, mm, mm. people used to despise me just because i look good smell good and feel good but guess what god has said our uh, people will despise you now that i have made you truly look good feel good and smell good come on somebody and they will still despise you but you can't look at that you got to love them anyway you got to move in the right spirit anyway come on back in the back in the lifetime i wasn't looking i wasn't being good i wasn't doing good my position my ear was about pride but now my ear is about humility and causing god to show up and so oi Sander, if people dislike you they must dislike you because like Stephen you are giving them word you are giving them love and some will dislike you for that but we will not take that on we will float on the winds of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and so this morning god has delivered us from all the burdens everything that has held us down and held us back god has delivered us this morning and we are well and we are healthy and we are free in the name of jesus christ for who the son sets free is free indeed in the name of jesus christ hallelujah so lord we just pray in the mighty name of jesus that you will set the nation of Israel free. Lord, you have done an awesome work in our own nations as we have cried out and you have done a, mass, a master work in our own lives and in our family this morning to deliver us in the name of Jesus. And so we intercede now and ask, oh God, that you will deliver the nation of Israel from every harm and danger, every plan, scheme and trap. Oh God Almighty, let your peace be in Jerusalem. Let the restoration of that nation, oh God Almighty, come forth without hesitation. Let there be a manifestation in our time and season, O oh God, that we might see, hallelujah, the goodness of the Lord in the land of the wicked. Lord, let everything that is evil every immorality that exists within the borders of Israel be uprooted and delivered. Make haste to deliver them, O God Almighty, from every plan, scheme, and trap of the enemy to destroy them. And let the Jewish people come to recognize that the Messiah that came with their blood, hallelujah, their looks, their hair, their eyes, their hands, like them, oh Father, cause them to recognize that truly the Messiah came firstly to draw them unto you lord god almighty and then to draw us unto you father our hearts bleed for them because we are drawn unto you and they for the most part are still missing so have your way O oh god almighty draw them nigh so that they too can enjoy and be and resist the lie of the enemy in jesus christ's name so, hallelujah hallelujah and this morning we pray especially O oh god almighty for the united states of america Father, that country is in confusion and turmoil. That country is going through so much, oh God Almighty, like so many other countries in the world. Hallelujah. No, no, no exceptions. 
but lord that country is supposed to be the representative of freedom the representative of christian religious freedom the representative of democratic freedom the representative of, of, of freedom of expression and freedom of love and freedom of all things for man but god almighty i'm saying it without fear that all are uh, all that america seem to be pushing now is is is, is freedom to do evil freedom to walk in evil concupiscence but god we know that that is a devil that's not the foundation on which that great united states of america was formed or forged that's not what the forefathers meant and so we thank you lord god almighty that by your mighty hand and your mighty army of angels america shall be restored to that place where they say in god we trust oh god almighty hallelujah i thank you lord god almighty that the foundation of the principles on which they live and move and have their being shall return to the bible in the name of jesus christ lord bibles shall return to the hotels and to the schools and to the public offices prayer and devotion in the name of jesus christ shall return across the board from government offices all the way down to the little man on the street i thank you lord god almighty that america shall become a praying nation again not to the sun the moon or the stars not to the sea uh not to not to images Oh God Almighty, made by man's hand, but to you, Jehovah, the Almighty One, the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Amashiach, I declare that America shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. America shall be a place where, where, where missionaries shall depart, like Christopher Columbus out of England, or, or, or um, out of the, the Europe, oh God Almighty, and like those conquistadors out of Spain and those other places where they came from and, and, and conquered the rest of the, the, the world. Father, so shall it be that that in the last days these last days that we're in missionaries shall arise again out of that yes, nation God, oh god whose god is the lord and they shall go forth and restore europe they shall restore in the name of jesus christ mm -hmm. the places even that they through their political policies have caused dissension and disruption and, and destruction oh god missionaries shall go to iran and and to and to um, afghanistan hallelujah saudi arabia yes lord they shall go not with guns this time but with the world word of God in the name of Jesus Christ and we thank you Lord that whatever you're doing in and through America we thank you that you will not do it without Fourth Watch family members in Jesus name hallelujah Amen. glory to God hallelujah bless the name of Jesus what a mighty God we serve angels bow before him heaven and earth adore him what a mighty God we serve hallelujah hallelujah guys i hope that you're sensitive in the spirit because my spirit is just jumping the presence of hallelujah. god is rich this morning oh so many answered prayers i'm telling you man mm. I have to be controlling myself. I feel like 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 the Holy Spirit just have a feather, one of those big feathers, like a um a peacock feather. Like the Holy Spirit have a peacock feather and just tickling my skin. It just tickling my skin. And I know whether you feel it literally like me, like I'm feeling it now or not, he is there tickling you as well. Some of you he's pouring oil on, some he's pouring water, some he's pouring wine, hey, some he's just pouring liquid love, some he's just giving a hug. There's so many things that we need in our family in our lives today and this morning whatever it is that we are needing god is giving it to us Amen. i declare it and it is so in the name of jesus christ those who need stimulating those who need a, a, a injection hallelujah in their spirit to get alive and to go forth and to be and to do to get courageous and to go like like joshua across the jordan and take the promised land god is moving on our lives this morning it's a great day to know god because god is good hallelujah 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 blessed be the name of the lord most high great and faithful is our god hallelujah hallelujah bless the name of jesus hallelujah you have been welcomed in the spirit facebook instagram you've been welcomed you've been welcome on behalf of Marsha wade hallelujah come on we welcome when 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 we're almost finished or at the beginning we welcome as the holy spirit leads amen the holy ghost is here and we thank him and we honor him and we say holy spirit you are welcomed here flood this place and fill this atmosphere do mighty work in and through us take our tongues and teach us how to worship for we know not how to worship say 
saying hallelujah is not the worship that's just the word the worship comes from the heart from the soul from the spirit hallelujah. ah father teach us how by your holy spirit lord how to truly say hallelujah and it is not just a word hallelujah but truly a worship ah god almighty hallelujah hallelujah help us to love oh god not just to say a word i love you but to love from our body soul and spirit mind will and emotion that when we say i love you it comes with power with anointing and with glory mm -hmm. in the name of jesus christ hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord most high okay so we're coming to the end of this week's activities and we have been talking about the feet and how we move yesterday in the fasting uh it was an awesome day we looked at habakkuk 3 19 yes, oh yesterday was wednesday now yeah. <laughs> bless god um on wednesday Tuesday, we looked at Habakkuk 3.19. Yesterday, we, we looked through the eyes of the prophetess. Hallelujah. And that was, uh, remember, we're doing Prophetic Wednesdays. And so we have four uh, four prophets, four, me four same messages about one. Four messages, one spirit, one life, one God who won for us we win because christ won so he won it so we're celebrating that 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 what christ won and what we already win come on hallelujah so christ won it which is past tense right correct english yes. bless mm -hmm. jesus hey the teacher teacher spirit rubbing off on me now what can i tell you that's why we're married hey should bring something to the table <laughs> bless god holy 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 but god seriously hallelujah so 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 jesus won it in the past and now we are able to win it because it's already won our name is already on the trophy come on hallelujah and so we have to now walk in that win amen hallelujah it's like a fight where, um, back in the day there used to be some 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 things that they people used to complain about especially in boxing where somebody would throw a fight and so they, they um an agreement would be made with one of the boxers and he would be paid good money to just show up and just dance around and prance and pretend like he's he's truly trying to win the fight but he already lost because he was paid to lose and so it, it was called throwing a fight amen mm -hmm. and so jesus has gone into satan's dressing oh jesus i wonder if i want to get it jesus already gone into satan's dressing room and jesus has said hey listen you're gonna go into the ring with my son Juan. you're gonna go in the ring with my daughter Marsha. you're gonna go in the ring with Shan chana or with patricia you're gonna go in the ring with them but guess what you lose already you lose already because I'm tying your hands behind you right now. I'm tying your feet. Nobody will be able to see it. Ah, but my son and daughter will be able to do it. And when they knock you, it will be complete. Ah, God. But when we go in the ring, it's like we don't know that Satan is already defeated. Satan defeated. Hallelujah. Satan defeated. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. That Jesus is is Lord every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord that Jesus is Lord he is defeated Hallelujah. and we go in the ring and he cannot punch us his hands are tied behind him by the blood Rebu Sakata. his feet are being held by the spirit angels have covered his mouth and so he's speaking from his mind he's trying to influence influence us to his mind and God is saying, no, don't listen to that because he cannot do anything. If he cannot punch you, his words cannot hurt you in the name of Jesus. And so his mouth is covered, his hands are tied behind him, his legs are tied up. And all we got to do is just jump around and swing and we knock him out. But we have not been knocking him out. So he's been there round after round, minutes after minutes, hours after hours, days after days, weeks after week, month after month, year after year. Satan is in the ring with us. And all we got to do is knock him out. Mm. And we have just had him there as an enemy. We've just had him there. So you know what happened? It's like everybody now is beginning to think, hold on a second. Has Satan really lost? Because this person who is supposed to be the superior fighter by the Spirit of God don't seem to be able to knock him out. And so maybe even with his hands tied behind him, he's superior. 
Maybe with his legs tied, he's superior. Maybe with his mouth covered, he's superior. And so, so many people have started to turn to Obia, to Obia man, to witchcraft, to the dark side, to evil. Why? Because we have failed to knock out Satan. We have failed to knock him out. And so people have turned to his side because of us. We have failed to knock out sickness and disease. We have failed to knock him out when he come to our children with ganja and sexual immorality and schizophrenia and all these kinds of uh, learning disabilities and all these things that he's sending through the tablets and the phones. We have failed to knock him out. And so people are thinking that he's powerful and they can't see that his hands are tied behind him. They can't see that his legs are tied up. They can't see that his mouth is covered. They just see us not doing anything, not having victory over him. And they say, if we say we are so powerful and mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, hey, if we say that we are powerful, we are powerful to tread upon serpents and scorpions and we have power over all the power of the enemy and every day we're still bawling out boy me and that talk me and that talk satan i do i do this and i do that then them them say well I might as well go upon satan's side because satan seemed to be more powerful than the christians the devil is a liar and so uh each each wednesday we're going through a prophetic encouragement, a prophetic speaking into your lives, into our lives, so that we can be encouraged and motivated to go in there, man, like a pep talk from the from the, the um the corner man or the coach. Come on, hallelujah. And we're going in there and we're not taking no prisoner. We're not dancing around him like Muhammad Ali anymore. We're knocking him like Joe Fraser or oh, like Buster Douglas. We're saying, boom, out. You must go now. Knock out time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, somebody. You ready to fight? You ready to get in there and knock him out? We're not sparring with him anymore. Knock out time. Lick out the teeth, them out of time out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He must not be able to talk. Knock out him tongue. So he must go, <laughs> cannot speak. He's been cursing your family and your bloodline for years. He's been cursing your purpose for years. He's been cursing your finance, cursing your health for years. It's time to knock him out and shut up him out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You should be encouraged. You should be going. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Get ready. Put on your gloves, man, and jump in the ring. Hallelujah. Aye, God. Okay, so on Tuesday, we looked at Habakkuk 3. We looked at the sovereign Lord, who is our strength. He gives us the power to knock out Lucifer. He makes our feet like feet, the feet of a deer. So when Lucifer is running towards us to try and, and, and knock us down, since he can't punch us, he will try to knock us down with his body. Hallelujah. Try to fall on us and stifle us. Like my, 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 my sister that he was telling that um, she can't breathe. That's what he does. He suggests that you uh, can't live, can't breathe. Hallelujah. He was telling her that she cannot breathe so that she can um, she can she can become uh, confused and disturbed uh, but Satan is a liar we got to believe that he's a liar Jesus already won and therefore we win nothing he says can come to pass as he's telling the woman of God you can't breathe you can't breathe all of a sudden she start to feel like she can't breathe feel like she's losing her breath feel like her lungs is is, is being pressed on just from a suggestion that's the way satan works man but guess what he has told each of us something he has done each of us something and we're still here today which means by now we should know that he's a liar amen hallelujah he cannot do anything to us and so god has made our feet like the feet of a deer that can climb to places where satan can't get to and when he gets there we have power in our feet to tread upon him and his serpents and scorpions and therefore we are victorious he said he enables us to go to, a, to heights that Satan cannot reach. Remember the Bible says we are seated with him where? In heavenly places, high above, far above principalities and powers. That's demon and Satan and him demons. We are far above them. So he has given us, uh, he enables us to go to high heights, which is the third heaven where Satan cannot reach. And that is another um, revelation on Habakkuk 3 as of this moment and so we want to look again as I was intertwining um, in, from the scriptures Luke 10 19 God says listen guys when you get in the ring remember be confident when Satan comes and attacks you in your dream when he comes remember that your feet 
have been made proper your feet have been made as weapons your feet like the roman soldiers have been shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and so if the word of god shods your feet wherever you trod the word will go before you and that word will defeat the enemy and so when god says i've given you power over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt you what is the word of your power the weapons of your warfare are not carnal but mighty through you to the pulling down of strongholds i can do all things through christ which strengthens me therefore nothing shall defeat me in the name of jesus no work no task no projects no 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 attacks nothing shall defeat me because i can do all things and i am prepared when fear tried to come upon you in your sleep or when you look like you're gonna lose your job or when you can't get a job come on god says fear not for i have not given you a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind i've given you power to defeat the enemy i've given you love to love your enemies as yourself and i've given you self-control to not panic to not be wavering that you will not receive anything to not turn to the right or to the left but to stay focused that's why he has given us power love and a sound mind or self-control and so luke 10 19 tells it well hallelujah hallelujah let me just read quickly what luke 10 19 says as a matter of fact i'm gonna read from 17 hallelujah uh the 72 messengers return luke 10 verse 1 says that the lord jesus christ sent out the 72 and gave them power to go defeat the enemy that he already bind their hands behind them see it i never ever met that connection when i was telling you about satan being bound his hands behind him and his feet bound and so jesus sent out the disciples and said to them the 72 go man because i have but he didn't say this i'm telling you now based on the um on the on the on the scenario uh he basically was 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 saying to them guys go and defeat the enemy because i have already tied his hands behind him i've already tied his feet in the name of jesus christ please if you're just joining and you hear me saying that don't go and look for that in the scripture you're not gonna see it i'm talking about the context of what jesus has done when he sends us out to fight it's because the defeat has already been the, the victory has already been won come on he has already bound satan with his blood he has already bound him with it by his spirit he has already bound him by his angels and so we when we go we are able to carry out the task of winning so here it is they've come back verse 17 says the 72 returned with joy and said lord even the demons submit to us in your name that's what jesus is saying go forth man because even the demons will submit to you in my name but we have not been going forth and that's why the demons have not submitted to us. We've just been saying, Lord, me and that attack, me and that attack, me and that attack. Pray for me, pray for me, pastor. Pray for me and that attack. And Jesus is saying, but my spirit is in you and I've sent you forth to knock them out, to destroy them. What's going on? Hallelujah. Verse 13, he replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from the heaven. I have given you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, to open and and to overcome all the power of the enemy nothing will harm you you hear that guys nothing will harm you oh my god no matter how satan jumping around in your house no matter how him jumping around in your business place in your workspace no matter how he's jumping around and carrying on whether he's jumping through your boss to your supervisor to your manager to your co-workers no matter how he's jumping around, he's bound. You got to remember this. His hands and his feet are bound. He's suggesting with the hope that you will come in agreement with him that you are defeated. But remember what the psalm says. Satan defeated. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so, um, as he said it, I have given you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions. You remember, Satan is likened unto the serpent that spoke to Eve. So he has given you power to trample on him and, and his minions, the scorpions, and over all of his power that he could come with. And nothing, nothing will harm you. So if you're in the ring with a boxer that cannot harm you, how are you afraid? How come you're not swinging any punches? How come he's not knocked out yet? How come the referee is not counting him down? One, two, three, four. Because we're still being influenced by his thoughts that we cannot defeat him. We got to start believing Jesus and stop believing the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so...
hallelujah bless the name of jesus all right so we, we're out of time so tomorrow we will do um isaiah 40 verse 31 and close the the time of the feet but remember in boxing the feet play an important role if you just stand still and try to punch try to punch the enemy will be able to even with their hands tied behind their backs will be able to use their head or use their body to knock you over and to fall on you and maybe you might hit your head and get knocked out but if you're utilizing your feet which is just as important as your hands you'll skip around like muhammad ali you'll miss anything that they throw at you every word spoken against you you don't stand there and soak it up and think okay i'm good because i have jesus in me the holy spirit is in me that means i can soak up no word curses can damage your soul it can't damage your spirit but it will damage your soul and so you must always be light on your feet because God has given you feet like a deer you can go anywhere uh, you have speed in your feet to spare for God says that you shall run and not be weary and walk and not faint you shall run through troops and leap over walls so he has made our feet physically fit and ready spiritually fit and ready and so we got to keep moving man make sure that even the enemy that is already bound and cannot defeat us can knock us out that he can't use what he has to destroy us same way so we're moving we're jumping up and go to the high places that we're out of his reach. We're skipping around the ring like Muhammad Ali to ensure that he cannot touch us because victory is ours. And after a while, because he's bound up, he'll get tired and just, and you can just, and knock him out. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're not we're not fighting with the enemy. We're not in any spiritual warfare. We're just biding time until an opening comes where we can knock him out in the name of Jesus Christ. We are the victorious ones. We win because Jesus has already won in the name of Jesus. So read for tomorrow morning. Please read Isaiah 40 verse 31. Isaiah 40 verse 31. We're going to go into it for a little bit tomorrow morning and then we're going to close off on the feet and next week we'll start something else a new teaching on how to stay and understand and walk in the goodness of the lord in the land of the living amen bless the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah and so father we just thank you for all that you do for us Hallelujah. We thank you that you have strengthened our feet, that we can run and not be weary and walk and not faint. We thank you, Lord, that you have strengthened, uh, God Almighty, our tongues, that we will not speak what the enemy tells us to speak, but we will speak what you say. We will declare and prophesy that we are more than conquerors, that we are blessed and highly favored, that we are the head and not the tail, that we are above and not beneath. I thank you, Lord, that we will run in the direction that you say that we are to run into and when we come upon the valley of the shadow of death yes, hallelujah we will fear no evil we will just keep moving yes, we'll keep running hallelujah hallelujah because your rod and staff will comfort us yes, and on the other side of the valley of shadow of death you have made a table before us in the presence of our enemies yes, when they see that they cannot beat us hallelujah we will eat before them and say na 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 hallelujah yes. glory to god we thank you lord jesus christ that you have delivered fort watch family this morning we thank you that you have set us free and you have made us whole thank you thank you lord that we you have you have put us in the ring yes we must fight yes there is a battle but the battle is is hey god is already set in our favor we win we win we win because we're free from sin Hallelujah. and you are you oh god is within in the name of jesus christ bless your people today oh god mm -hmm. cause us to flourish Ah oh God, nourish us by your spirit. Cause us to go forth to do and to be for your good pleasure. Encourage us, O oh God Almighty, to, 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 to erupt in the presence of your beloved people. That those who ought to be saved will be saved from our words and from our actions. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Time for communion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope that you were encouraged this morning and ministered to. Hallelujah. And that this word was a blessing and an encouragement unto you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Okay. Um let's have communion father we just bless this communion we bless these emblems in the name of jesus christ that they will truly be a representative of your body and your blood sanctify them and consecrate them even now that truly all of us will become all of you 
in Jesus' name. Search our thoughts, our words, and our actions. See if there be any evil way in us, O God, knowingly or unknowingly, and deliver us from every evil thing. We repent and renounce them now, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hmm. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it. He took a sup and he said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. As you eat my body and drink my blood, you do it in remembrance of my death, burial, and resurrection until I come. Drink ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As we give God thanks for his body and his blood, thank him for his saving grace. Today, we celebrate birthday for one of our dear sisters, Geraldine Morgan. Hallelujah, Sister Margie. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Today is Sister Geraldine's birthday. And so we just want to, before we go, honor her and just sing happy birthday to her and pray a prayer for her that she will live long and prosper. Hallelujah. Geraldine Morgan, we bless you up, girl. We big you up, girl. We give you two thumbs up because your cup full and running over. Start dish out of your saucer. Hallelujah. And be a blessing to those who are around you in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, after two. One, two. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, dear Geraldine. Happy birthday, I make we sing now. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, dear Geraldine. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you for Sister Geraldine Morgan today, our family member, our footwatch sister. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that as she celebrates this day of life, another year of life, that God Almighty, you will cause that life not just to be one that exists, but one that resists the devil, that he will flee from her. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you will cause her blood sugar to normalize her blood pressure. Hallelujah. Normalize now in the name of Jesus as a birthday present to this woman of God, Father. I thank you for health in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak health. I speak health. I speak health to her, her body, her soul, her spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and decree this day that every concern she has, even about our son, oh God Almighty, that you will lift those burdens today as a birthday present to her, that you will sever those yoke off of her, oh God Almighty, that every fear, every concern, oh God, like she's almost, the Satan is telling her to always be listening for bad news about our son, but cancel we cut that. off that in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. we cancel that lie in the name of Jesus, mm. she wins, her son wins, and we thank you Lord that that winning will manifest as of today we thank you for prosperity and good success Lord sometimes she's saying God, there are so many things I want from you. But if you preserve my son, if you keep the, 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 the seed that you have given me, if you bless him, God, I will feel like you have done wonderful for me. God, I thank you that you will not only honor that wish and bless her son, that he will flourish and prosper, but God, you will bless her as well. Because when Hannah wanted a son, she didn't just want one to keep her company or to show off on others, but she wanted one that will bring joy to your heart. And this is my uh, Geraldine's wish, oh God. So as a birthday present father may you bless her like you bless hannah that she will have the joy ah, of your salvation through her and through her son in jesus name amen and amen bless the lord jesus amen. hallelujah thank you so much for joining us this morning guys uh we truly truly appreciate you as our family and we know that this is the day that god has made just for you Amen. and us in the name of jesus may the lord bless, bless you, you and, and keep you, you. may the he lord make his face to shine, shine upon you and be gracious unto you may the, the lord, lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace in the name of jesus Hallelujah. christ remember 
Women are tired of ordering them. Hey, hey, go forth, guys, and have an amazing day. His way for our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day. His way. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus love you. And we love the world I wanna too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh please remember today's Thursday, the woman without women without blemish. Uh, meeting empowerment, empowerment session is this evening so Every please Thursday. if you are a woman without blemish or if you're a woman with blemish that wants that blemish to go join this evening at 7 30 hallelujah yes. hallelujah yes. the yes. link will be sent out to you uh the link is on facebook as well I'm going to put it in yes room. the link is going to be put up on facebook so you can check if you're not in the whatsapp group or circle hallelujah you will get it on facebook so that on, on instagram as well so that you can and join in this, this evening and make your blemish get ah removed and if your blemish already removed then you're gonna polish and shine wax on wax off wax <laughs> on wax off so when you go to road mm -mm. if you're married your husband will gonna say eh, eh, oh, what is you've been in the presence of God and if you're not married the men them will gonna say mm -mm. make we line up for this one cause she's shining like a diamond glory to God hallelujah woman without blemish man Join Pastor Marsha this evening at 7.30. You won't miss it. You won't miss it. Ah, it will be a blissful time. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a great one. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.